Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be another update on the school. Now I said this was only going to be two parts, but it's actually going to be three. There's a couple more things that I want to do to this school and then we'll move on to the rest of the town. I want your guys' feedback. There's a couple things that I want to do here and I want to hear what you guys want to see. Now if you recall the last episode, we had this main building. I'm not going to go through it again, I'm just going to walk through the uh, lobby area. There's still a couple things that I am going to add here because this looks a little, little empty. But anyways, what I've been working on has actually been back here. And I've got a pretty sweet setup here. I've got a whole other building. To uh, We're going to go through that here in a second. And I've got a football field. And I'm really happy with this. This took a long time, but it's fairly detailed. And I wouldn't say it's a one-to-one -one scale, but it is pretty close. But before we go to that, let's go ahead and go into the new building here. And this is one of the first things I, I want your guys' feedback on. So, over here to the left, we've got two new classrooms. The one on the left here is a science lab. It's uh, pretty cool looking. I really would have liked to have found some more objects to stick in here, but I think for what I actually have, I think it, it's pretty cool. Uh, you've got all these little tables, you've got the long tables, some cabinets. Uh, I talked to one of the uh, viewers today. They talked about I had blackboards in the classrooms in there, and he talked about a smart board. So I decided to go ahead and change. This is a smart board. It's like a glass board. It's got you can interact with it. Of course, when I was in school, we didn't have these. We had our blackboards. So that's why I put them in the main school, and I'll probably change those out too. But yeah, pretty happy with the science room here. Now the other classroom is actually empty. I'm going to make one more class, but I'm not sure which class I want to actually make. So I want to hear what you guys want to see, and we'll stick it in this classroom. This will be the next episode. Uh, I'll do this. I've got some touch-up work that I need to do on the football field, and then I'm going to build a school bus. Now, I've been talking about some feedback here, and let me go out to the football field and show you that. This school, or actually the town doesn't have a name, and I'm really close to naming it. You guys have been suggesting things. But I also need something from the school. I need, for the school, I need a mascot. And I need to figure out what that's going to be because you're going to notice the football field here. Let me go ahead and jump up here. And for some reason, I actually do get a slight bit of lag right here in this corner. But once I go up here, just fine. But yeah, here's the football field. And you're going to notice the end zone's blank, the scoreboard's blank, and the middle where the uh, logo is blank. I want a mascot. And I'm not really sure which mascot I'm going to use, so I want to get some feedback, and we'll decide what mascot we're going to have for the school. But anyways, I was talking about the football field. It isn't a one-to-one -one scale. It's uh, fairly close, but I just didn't have enough room. You'll see in the other end zone, I actually ran out of room, and the terrain goes up a little bit in the end zone, but it's not terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and walk down there. Uh, another thing that I'm not 100% happy with, the uh, sidelines aren't very big. I, once again, I kind of ran out of room because I need to build a like locker room or a gym and I think it's going to go behind the home stands. So I had to kind of shorten or I couldn't make the field as wide as I wanted to, but still really happy with the way it came out. I mean, it looks awesome. I uh, took some pictures from Google and kind of figured out all the lines that needed to be on the field. And the only thing that's missing is going to be right here in the center where we have a logo for the mascot. But... Anyways, you got some benches over here. You've got tables for the uh, players. Uh, that's supposed to be like a Gatorade jug. It looks okay. I need to probably find a nozzle or something to stick on there. Uh, this side's actually the way side, so you're gonna notice the bleachers are actually a lot smaller. The home side's on the other side, and you can you notice that it almost takes up the whole side of the field. But anyways, let's go ahead and check those out real quick. You can walk around the back here. Uh, that's gonna be the scoreboard. I didn't do anything with it because I want to figure out what the logo is going to be like and how I want to actually do this whole thing because I want to incorporate the logo in it. And also maybe I could stick like a statue or something up here. I'd really like to see some sort of statue of the uh, mascot. I don't know what it's going to be. Hopefully I can do it. Anyways, let's go around here. Here's the home side. You're going to notice there's a gap down here. I haven't built these sides out yet. I was debating how big I was going to actually build the stands. But I'm really happy with the way the stands came out. You, you can see under them here, they've got all the supports. Uh, they're made out of these stair steps. I doubled them up 
and then the actual steps are made out of metal uh, blocks. I almost put the railings on here, but I couldn't fit them because the whole fact that these are too wide and the railings are meant to go like one step down, one step down, one step down. So I couldn't do that, but other than that, I'm really happy with them. Now you've got a small press box up here. I'm not 100% complete with this either. I kind of want to figure out what the mascot's going to be like. That way I can incorporate the colors into it, but this will be where the announcer's set and you can kind of see the whole field from here. Actually, that's the first time I've really looked at it. That does look awesome. But yeah, that's why a lot of this isn't painted because I still need to finish the end zones and like I said, the uh, middle of the field here. I didn't realize how much of the city we can see from here. You can actually see the water tower back there, the apartment. There's the bank, the Napa store, the junkyard's just right there to the left. But yeah, let's go down here. Now, I have one small vehicle. Now, I'm going to build a bus, but I figured we have a football field, and a lot of times you'll have like a, go like a golf cart or like a medical cart. So I did create one of those, and I've got a little ramp here you can actually drive it up in. So let's go ahead and test it out. Nothing special with it. It's just, I don't even think I have any suspension pieces on it. It doesn't need it, doesn't even need to go fast. I've got an electric motor on there. Let's go ahead and climb up in it. Yeah, it goes just fast enough. This doesn't need to be a speed demon at all. Oh, let's get up the ramp. But yeah, if anybody ever gets injured, you can just drive out on the field here. Uh, that yellow part's actually supposed to be like one of those stretchers or uh, body boards. So you've got that. But yeah, you can drive around all over the field here. It actually looks fairly decent. I'm not 100% sure about that windshield, though. But I guess it's okay. But yeah, let's go ahead and drive off here. But yeah, that's what I, I want some feedback. I want to figure out what kind of mascot we can add to this. Because I'll probably do some sort of pixel art here in the middle. And try to get a cool looking logo. But yeah, let's go ahead and drive off the field here. But yeah, I felt like I actually made quite a bit of progress. Like I said, we still have to do one more classroom. I need some sort of facility, which I think it's going to be... Let me get out here. It's going to be back behind the main or the home bleachers. I need a locker room or a, a small gym, so maybe either, maybe not quite over here. Probably going to be over in this area. We'll do something there. And then once we complete that in the school bus, we should be completely done. So I should be able to wrap that up in one more episode. Actually, you know what? I'm almost for sure I'm going to be able to wrap that up in one more episode. I'll have some time Sunday to uh, be able to put some effort into this. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to choose the mascot. I think I'm just going to choose one at random out of the comments, the one, at least one that makes sense and one that I like. But yeah, we're going to do that, and we're going to do the classroom. But I think that's about it. There wasn't too much done, but I mean, realistically, this did take a while because I was not happy with the uh, field at first. Uh, when I built, or when I started painting it, I messed up several times trying to make it too big, and then I realized I had to stop here. Uh, oh, that's what I was talking about, about the uh, end zone, having some of the terrain come up through it. I know, I almost forgot about my goal post here. We got the uh, post. I think they're they're about how they should be. Maybe they should be a little bit... No, I don't think they need to be any bit wider. Maybe a little bit taller, but I don't know. Um, I'll debate on that. Uh, some of the goal posts are always different in all the pictures I see, so I'm not really sure what the actual height's supposed to be. But anyways, I think that's about it. Uh, other than the uh, awning I added to the back of the school... So I think through here we'll have some, uh, maybe some picnic area, one more classroom, a bus, and finish the football field with the mascot. And I think that should wrap it up for the school, so we'll move on to the next project, which is either going to be an airport, uh, maybe the ranger station, maybe even buses. I don't know if we want to do the buses quite yet, because it's still not a huge town, so I don't know if it's really, I don't know if there's really a need for buses, other than a school bus, so... Anyways, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter episode today, guys. I had quite a bit of time, but I just needed to go ahead and get another scrap mechanic. Because like I said yesterday, I wasn't 100%. I don't like doing like these parts, but to get these episodes out, I kind of had to split this one up because this project became much bigger than I thought it was going to turn out. So, Anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode. Tomorrow, I believe I'll have some turmoil. And then we're going to wrap around next week into Scrap Mechanic, finish this school up, and then move on to the next big project. But anyways, thank you guys for your support of this series. If you'd like to like the video, if you haven't subscribed, all that helps. 
We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.